Several programs ago, Bob, we talked about um, common law marriage laws changing in Alabama. How has that mm -hmm. changed how we think about divorce and, and all? Right, it did change. It changed as of January the 1st of this year. And now, if a couple moves in together, they can't establish a common law marriage. But uh, we did grandfather people that had already started living together, um, you know, if they held themselves out as husband and wife. You know, I, I really disagree with, with um, taking that away. I really do. You, you think from a legal perspective, yeah. a common law on the books marriage I, I just served seen, everyone well? I've just seen too many times when, well, first of all, the public thinks that if you just live with somebody, you're in jeopardy, but that's not right at all. We had some pretty harsh criteria, you mm -hmm. know, and not every situation w developed into a common law marriage. But what do you do with a situation where they've lived together for 10 years? They just didn't get down to the probate judge for some reason. They introduce each other as husband and wife, joint bank accounts, joint tax returns. Joint I, debt. You know, <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh-oh, you're not married. I mean, you know, so, you have to be married to seek relief in the courts. Now, I guess you could be somebody like Chris could figure out some way to get around that, but you can't get a divorce because you're not married. Has that has that change been <clears throat> in effect too short of a time? We don't that, know yet. Those problems to rear its ugly head, and we just don't know how that's going to be handled? Right. I mean, I think <clears throat> possibly there could be some civil actions. If you've yeah. got all your assets yeah. entangled with someone that you're not married to, mm -hmm. you know, you, you could probably just file a civil case. Um, but, you know, there are certain rights. In, in a marriage, yeah. and you don't have a lot of those protections. That's right. In a common law relationship, one that's been grandfathered in, it still is like a marriage. It's unaffected yeah. completely. <clears throat> grandfathered yeah. in means that. All right. And Chris mentioned civil law. I'm just we're just brainstorming here, but you know, fraud would be gone after two years. Let's yeah. say you lied to somebody about you know some material thing, and they moved in with you, and then three years later you figured out they lied. You go into court trying to undo it, saying you defrauded me, you lied to me. Court says you waited too late. Now that the common law marriage is gone in Alabama, what about a couple <clears throat> that lives together, accumulates some things together? How about has children? Oh my goodness! Or goes and borrows one hundred fifty thousand dollars to buy a home. Yeah, the bank's going to have it in both of their names. But no when doubt. They split it's a, there's a bunch of headaches involved. Yeah, that. and if you had a bunch of ass, a bunch of money in a joint account, yeah. one of them could just take all of it out. Yeah, and that's not and fraud or stealing or anything. That's right. In the mm -hmm. and in a divorce case, the divorce judge can make you put it back in. Right. But if if you're not married, you yeah. know there might not be any remedy. Well, I don't do Social Security work, but Social Security aren't after ten years of marriage you vest, right? Right. And you can claim benefits from your spouse. Well, that would be that gone, would yeah. What about child support? Well, you probably could get that because we still have support. We're going to protect children. Right, right. If you're the father of the child. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. That, that's nothing to do with make the you do that. Establish okay. paternity and you can require child support payments. Yeah, there's a law in the books that says both parents. It doesn't say both spouses. Okay. Both parents have an obligation to support their child.